Still, the House of Representatives has resolved to set up on a dock committee to investigate the level of compliance of all information and communication technology ICT aided transport companies with the country's extant tax laws. They are to report in four weeks for further legislative actions. Honorable Ghani Johnson, representing Oshodi Solar Federal Constituency of Lagos State, sponsored the motion at plenary and it was adopted by a majority vote by members. Also aware that many transportation activities now occur through online booking and payments which make the ordering of the services easier and efficient. Inform that the average weekly earnings of boat and Uber drivers are about 60,000 60, to 120,000 naira, while the companies take off 20% and 25% respectively as commission from the earnings of each driver operating on their platforms. Cognizant that the companies have benefited from facilities of federal government such as good roads and security network would grant them ease of doing business. Thus, they ought to be fully accountable and up to date in their tax remittances. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.